Ahoy ahoy crew. As the title says, I have quit Guillotine Cross. Um, I just finally got bored of it, so I'm moving on to a different class slash build. I, I moved between a lot of like the end game GX builds and constantly resold, rebuilt almost monthly or every two months. I've just been playing the class for almost four years, so it, it just got, uh, it, it's boring now. I, I don't, it's not fun to play anymore. So I moved on to a class that's, I mean, technically still a meta class. I moved on to genetic, but not cart cannon, which is probably the more expected meta build. But uh, I'm playing cart tornado e exclusively. Uh, and that's because it's, there's actual challenge to it. And I'm not super OP. Genetic does have a lot of good utility, which makes the build probably viable enough to use. But um, the build itself is, it doesn't have like super high damage. I, I don't, if solo, I don't even hit like a million damage. Um, I hit like five, 500 to 600k. Uh, if a bunch of stuff activates, I can hit like 800k. Um, and that's like damage per cart tornado, but also with like Hell's Plant. I, I can reach over a million DPS, but it's not like per hit. Per hit is below a million. Um, and it's just more challenging to play. Um, and it's just something different, really. It's, it's more fun because it's not pew pew cross impact one shot or two shot or, you know, etc. Et and Guillotine Cross wasn't even my main class to start out with, technically. Uh, I, I started with Genetic because on my last server I played on, I was a genetic main. That's it was the class I most enjoyed. Um, but then on Novaro, I made a GX to do like farming and stuff um, because it was good with uh, leech gears on rolling cutter, and that was fun. Uh, and I followed the guide we currently ha we had at the time, which I think was Kale's GX guide, um, and it was starting to get outdated a bit because we started getting new gears and updates. Uh, at that time so i i made a guide myself after i started learning the class and how different mechanics of ro actually worked because before nova ro i i had zero idea what was going on at all like i didn't know what attack percent really did i didn't know how status attack worked i i literally knew nothing i just knew attack makes you do more damage strength makes you do more melee damage dex makes you do more ranged that was that, that was basically it. That's that's all I knew. Um, so I made the guide, and then people liked it, so I kept expanding it. I added uh, or once, so like I I made rolling cutter. I did all of that, and it was good. And then the GX rework happened. I believe it was the rework. It might have been slightly before the rework, where I started adding new builds, um, which is like the. Uh, cross impact, soul destroyer, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but once the rework came, I added like cross impact. Soul destroyer was updated for a short time before it fell behind instantly. Um, I had counter slash, also the same thing with soul destroyer. It was updated for the time, but quickly became kind of outdated. Um, I didn't really add auto attack. I added stuff there, but it's. There isn't really a full compact build. Um, I never got to adding Cross Ripper Slasher. Uh, I just never found the time for that one. But I just kept doing that and then eventually just all the builds fell behind. So I'm at the point now where I, I did update Rolling Cutter. So it is more or less updated. But I'm also doing away with my main GX guide. It's, as of this video, no longer being continued to be worked on. Um, so there'll be no more updates coming to that guide, but I'm making a separate page of like smaller, easier to edit guides, at least easier to edit for me. Um, so this main guide here, uh, this will not be updated anymore. If I do do updates, it will be adding stuff like links to my, um, like I have my YouTube channel, my discord here already. I'll probably add the 
my new page there for different builds I work on. Um, I may add a few other things here and there for like references. Uh, not like the top of the guide, but the rest of the guide no longer being updated. I, it's, I'm not deleting anything though. It's all going to be here for reference because there, there is still useful information here. Um, it's just not being updated anymore. Like you can still go to cross impact and find stuff like old bone circle. It tells you to get acute. There's still useful information. It's just missing stuff like automatic illusion of underwater, uh, like all the newer stuff. It doesn't really have that except for rolling cutter. Rolling cutter does have that. Uh, but now I have a new page of builds, which I'm going to follow along with videos I make as well as the to win stream series. Um, where uh, Illegal's page of builds, there's a bunch of notes here that tells you some information about them, um, and then a color code for all of the builds. So there'll be meta builds, which are, you know, cross-impact, uh, ignition break for Rune Knight, Comet for Warlock, like the, the meta builds. Uh, viable builds, which are not meta builds, but they're still able to do stuff. They're still viable to like do certain dungeons they can do some or most content uh, but usually have some drawback to them that puts them behind meta builds uh, meme or for fun builds which are builds that don't have the proper support or builds that are just jokes it just they're just jokes like the skills may as well not exist but they do set their memes uh, and then other builds which are like like um my Gefenya farmer video for the genetic, that would be other builds. That would go here. Uh, it's, it's like a specific purpose and nothing more than that. Uh, so the one build I have so far is the rolling cutter build. If we look at this, uh, this is how all of them will be laid out. There'll be a, a small window under guillotine cross rolling cutter. You click expand. It has four more tabs you can expand. I'll go over those after. Uh, it gives a recommended skill um, template for like the first, second, and third class. Uh, pros and cons of the build. And then a list of all the skills that are useful in this build. Uh, and then if I scroll back up, uh, and a reminder like the, the skill tree here, as well as all the gears that I show, are like they're like, they're recommended, but like you don't need to follow it completely 100%. Um, you can explore elsewhere and do other different changes to fit whatever your needs are and your preferences and all that. Uh, so newbie gear progression. This is like the simple, easy gear everyone starts with. Um, there's four different uh, columns in each of these tabs. The first one gives you some information on how to progress and obtain certain gear. Uh, it tells you the stats you want to have, um, as well as the clan you should join. Uh, average damage tests, which are a 200 defense enemy, um, neutral property. It gives you average damage of the build at that level. Uh, against small, medium, large, and bosses. And then it tells you attack speed, critical rate, cast delay. I'll have fixed variable cast time, HP and SP leeching as well. Uh, the second column refers to all of the different slots, including shadow gears, pets, and consumables. Uh, then equipment is like the recommended equipment for the build. Uh, these are like what you should go for, uh, as well as the consumables you should be using. And then alternative equipment, which are other options out there so you don't have to follow the main guide there'll be alternate stuff thrown in all the time um and then for if we go down to the early game there's more info on how to progress um and we look at the pets now there's alternate pets which are like incubus is the main pet you can also use a succubus and that's good awakening potion poison bottle Magic Mushroom, Garana Candy. These are the main potions and consumables you'll be using. But then there's also Alternate, which is like the um, Mega Rejuvenation, Mega Energy Potion, 
and all the plus six foods from Sarah's memory. And it just continues like that. Uh, it has four stages. Newbie, early game, mid game, and end game. Uh, so you're able to look at the next one, progress into that gear, and then once you're that gear, you can look at the next list and so on. Uh, and that's almost it. One more thing. There's also going to be a last updated tag on all of the builds. Uh, so it tells you when the build was last updated. So you know if the build is like out of date or not. As if it's been updated two years ago, obviously it's probably outdated. If it was updated like a week ago, it should be good. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with friends, and I'll see you in the next video.